Hello everyone, I'm going to show you the finished up the video and this time we have socks that I knitted I think in April. I know I'm way back with posting but um, what I mean by that I, I delivered a baby and it took me a while to sit down over here with you and believe you me sitting over here is not the most pleasant thing to do. Um, so yeah, I bought, I really wanted to knit socks uh, for friends and members who have birthday in May and I think I was able to deliver so I'll bless this one so uh, these ones are socks for a male so they're big let me show you <laughs> see they're bigger than my sock blockers and my sock blockers are medium size maybe one day I'll get a large ones but far future I would say so this is it you could see that they're not really stretched properly so you need to just imagine how how they look and uh, what I did over here I was knitting one round with one color and another round with another color and that gave this effect and as you can see they're not matchy matchy but I put some grey toes burgundy cups and I use the same yarn for the heels and I think they're kind of cheerful and I think the person will really really like them so what did I use um just in case you want to knit socks so I'll put down below the links to my sock tutorials if you think that I should record something more, let me know, that'll motivate me to do so. Um, I like knitting socks from toe up, so these I cast on 24 uh, stitches, so 12 stitches per knitting needle using a Judy's Magic cast on, and I was increasing it. I have a tutorial how to, maybe over here, just link you the thing. How I, how I make the toe, I like to increase every second using yarn overs. Uh, method because that way I don't have to count or think I just see what's happening and that's the thing over here I cast it on I mean not cast it on I increased until whew, give me a sec uh, I think 68 stitches and I was knitting in the round switching from circular knitting needles with a long cable to nine inch uh, circular knitting needles, both the same size. I use US size one, 2.25 millimeter knitting needles to knit these. And then once I do just knit in the round, I basically just mark the side of the sock at the beginning of the round, like let's say that way, the first stitch that's there, I just mark it, just where I want to place the heel, knowing someone else's um, size and then I'm just knitting the cuff and I was knitting until I found that you know I'm happy with that I think I went a little bit longer for with it but I just knit that person uh, one pair per year I would say so um, yeah I just put more more effort more effort and especially that's male so I presumed and told uh, that that would be more comfortable yeah so and then I went to one by one ribbing with a different color and this is um, I think something like sock max brand max socks i just had a little leftovers that 10 um rounds and finished with two little bind off and that's what i like and i have a full tutorial how i knit socks uh one at a time i call it fast and easy socks so check that look for it in the playlist on just search knitting i love sock tutorials um fast and easy socks and you'll find it uh i'm showing that on the sport weight yarn but i did the, the idea is exactly the same, it's just you will then um, increase to less number of stitches because the stitches are thicker so you can have less of them than their yarn, you need more of them to get the same kind of width of the fabric or the sock you want to get. And then are we coming back and what I like to do, I like to do afterthought heel but the one not that you put a waist yarn, the one that you cut the yarn so maybe just check the video if you're interested, it's really fascinating. I really like that moment just oh, snip but be before you snip anything you place the uh, knitting needles on both sides and um, up and up and down 
of the line that you want to cut and when you just open it up but you have those stitches and you just knit it around by decreasing and I like decreasing the same way I do the toes that's why I know also the height of the toe uh, of the heel so if I measure this here I will know exactly how much I'm going to get over here when I'm knitting I don't know how many stitches um, it will give you that measurement um, if you're using the same ish uh, thickness of the yarn you know the fingering is sometimes different um, and that's that so um, that's basically it so now let me show you the yarn I thought I probably talked too much <laughs> so over here we have the drops fable and I don't have a label for it but it's kind of this gray and then this one like I said this is something sock max max socks if you browse through if you're really interested um, I've knitted some socks with it before and I got leftovers from my friend from Canada Diane she gave me two balls as you can see they weren't even so I started with the one that it was less and then I figured out okay let's, that's enough of knitting uh, let's switch to another one and I knitted another sock with this one and as you can see I have some uh, leftovers because that's one color and then we have another color over here so as you can see they're more equal sizes um so check them out so i picked this because it was like pinkish and more i think more in the tones on blues and purples and here i have some some of those colors too but you could see more greens in it, in it and kind of brighter this is darker hopefully you can see it um so the colors oh the brand even so this is barocco sock sock weight 75 percent of porsche merino and you can see 25% nylon. This is color is 1468. And then the other color is 1462. So they're quite close by. So check the labels. And here is the label two. And yeah. So over here we have a 100 gram balls. Obviously I didn't get 100, but no, that just gives you an idea of the thickness of the yarn. We have 440 yards, which is 406 meters. Um, that's kind of, normally you get 400 meters, 100 grams. This is like 406. So that's that. Obviously there's different, I, I, I divide fingering to two categories. In the meters, 365 meters, 400 meters, or 425 meters. So go with the Google and check the yards because I may mislead you so I don't want to say that but that's basically what I think about fingering those two and so obviously 425 meter is thinner so larger number is thinner yarn and going into a smaller number it's a slightly thicker yarn so just just saying but I would use US size one for all of all three of them um, because remember the the yarn kind of have that stretchiness um, yeah, but you go through with 365, maybe one day I'll risk and I will go with your size 2, which is 2.5 millimeters knitting needles because I use for these socks your size 1, which is 2.25 millimeter knitting needles. And it gives me a gauge, I think 8 inches per 8 inches per eight stitches per one inch and I like the fabric it's not I'm a loose knitter I knit continental style which means that I'm holding the yarn with my left hand I'm not a flicker I'm just swooping the yarn if you know what I mean so I hope you enjoy uh, this one and um, like I said links are down below if you are looking for something to catch on uh, to check maybe how I do things and here they are, I like them, I can pack them now and give it to the person I intended to give it to. So, so happy I had them. I hope, probably I gave them already, it's just this video is probably late. If you're not a knitter but you want to be in chance of winning maybe a socks, check my membership. So this is the join button in this Knitting a Love YouTube channel. I have a few giveaways for, for this month. I'm not saying the month because I'm not sure when I'm going to publish this video, but over here is level one when I've knitted socks without heels so it's slightly customized for the winner and in the next one I'm showing you a basket full of yarn maybe sometimes there's something extra in it I'm not sure if it's this giveaway but I know in 
June and May we had something extra and level two all members also can take part in the giveaway for level one too they have access to all those perks and uh, what I do over there I do like raw vlogs and yeah that's that so I hope you enjoyed this one see you next one bye <music>